Hello, my name's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're looking at the Kingston HyperX KHX11000 D3 K2 slash 4G dual channel DDR3 memory kit. Taking a look at the actual packaging on the memory, we can see that we get a clear view of the memory modules themselves. It's also got this label going over the top of it. It's sort of like a blister pack and it is quite a handy uh, set of packaging because it has this bit here. So when it's in a shop, it could be placed on display, but I'm not too sure how, uh, if I run my own shop, how many sort of you know sets of these I'd want hanging on the shelf just sitting there. But either way, it's a nice little idea. On the label, we can see that there's plenty of information. It tells us the model number, which is the KHX11000 D3 K2 forward slash 4G. Quite a lot to say, but if you do actually Google that uh, particular model number, and I also believe on Kingston's website, you can type in the part number to get the full specifications up. Other things on this label is the Kingston logo, unless it's the HyperX. Also tells us that it's a 4GB memory kit. Tells us that it's PC3, DDR3, the speed of the memory, cast latency of 9, and that it's a 240 pin DIMM kit. It also tells us that it's a 2 piece kit. So obviously being a 4GB kit, it's 2 2 gigabyte memory modules. Once you've actually purchased this product, you will notice that the sticker that we spoke about with all of the various different information on actually works as a security guard. So we can see that it actually seals the packaging over here. I've already split this side, so once you split it, it's just a matter of opening up the packaging. Inside we can see that we have the memory modules themselves. And we also have this leaflet, which is the warranty and installation guide. Have a quick look at this, it tells us about the warranty in many different languages, how to install the memory, and how to verify the authenticity of the memory. So that is all you actually get with the memory modules, but you don't really need any more than that. Be sure to check out eTechnics.com where I will have a full review on this memory set very, very soon.